Pound tradition returned to Byron today as people awaited the arrival of the Canadian Pacific holiday train. 13 WREX's Destin Howard shows us how it's raising awareness for food banks and how they're striving to help their communities. Uh, Byron's a great community and um, we're, always, we're always helping people. That's why it came up, people helping people. People across the state line celebrating the holidays at the return of the Canadian Pacific holiday train. It's also spreading awareness for food insecurity in Byron, giving back to the People Helping People food pantry. A lot of people think of Byron as being in a pretty affluent uh, community, and we are, but we too have a lot of people who are, as I say, in need of food, as I say, who as I say, have trouble making the the bills. Thanks to hundreds of pounds of food donated, the food pantry is on the right path to supporting more families in need. Families in attendance are thankful they are fortunate enough to spend a quality time together. It's just nice to take a break from work, get out and spend some really good quality time with the family. And we're really lucky to get to spend it with our family. We have everybody together, so I feel really blessed about that. The Canadian Pacific Holiday Train only visits Byron once a year, making it a destination for people across our region, like Jerry Ori and his wife, who drove over an hour from Sandwich, Illinois. I think it's fun to do things and not be cooped up at the house. and. I don't know. The older you get, the more things you want to see. Beyond the holiday season, the Byron community vows to continue to act simply as everyday people helping people. Oh, I should say it's just overwhelming the care and commitment and love this community has for everyone who I say is going through any sort of hardship. Reporting in Byron, I'm Destin Howard for 13 WREX. Looks like a great time out there and during the Canadian Pacific holiday train visit, People Helping People Food Pantry was presented a $4,000 check to continue their work in the community.